Hi, it's Joy in the same country watching One Piece, season one, episode five, Eater Barati Barati. The last episode is a very tense ending, so I'm very excited to jump straight back in. Let's go. Let's call that guy Grandpa. Uh huh. Who is the Is he actually your grandpa, or just a guy you knew and called Grandpa? I'm a pirate. Oh dear. Okay. So did he just leave his grandkid here and then would go off marining? Yes! No. We're not ready for this fight. Trim the this must be a different model than I'm used to. Which race for? The left! Usa! Load the cannon in the barrel! Oh lord, this crew. I love them. I love this crew, but they are morons. We just need to run for our lives, okay? <laughs> well done! He's super strong then and definitely has mad anger issues. They have a very strange relationship. <laughs> this crew, I love them so much, but Jesus Christ. Let's disappear. Are you working with them? Tell me the truth. About the battle, you want to talk about it? Nope. Okay, good talk. It's all right. It seems fine to me. Did you even ask him? No. Great. We do need to talk about the fact that his granddad is the head of the Marines or Vice Admiral of Marines or whatever. Have to excuse them. They're idiots. Of course. Right this way, man. <laughs> See? Works every time. They really are idiots, and I love them. Are we gonna get a, like a chef for our ship here or something? You know what, get out of my tables. <laughs> There may be a crew for you to join. Or you're going to be up to some shady shenanigans. Handy. Are, are all waiters trained like this? You guys are the worst. I love my little crew, but she had her weird snail contact. I know her. Personal. He's good. Come on, grab your glasses. Spooky. The best crew sailing on the sea, and two Bless and him. Yeah! Ha! Are we really going to ignore the mm -hmm. elephant in the room right now? The the Marines were going a little easy. Your grandfather was a Marine, and not just any Marine, a vice admiral. Keep voice down there. I don't know about you two, but I. Add it to my treasure tab. And what, pray tell, is that? I may not look like a big deal yet. Luffy. That's not how it works. There were never gonna be a cook in my restaurant. Have you got it? Hey, you wanna join my, my crew? I can't get caught, not when I'm so close. Was she not talking to the Vice Admiral then? Was she talking to somebody else? He's ready for another drink. I know I'm going to regret this, but what's wrong? Hmm. Nothing. It's like I did my duty for the night, my good deed for the week, for the year. What you said back at Syrup Village, someone called me Hawk. Best hmm. swordsman in the world, better with a blade than anyone in living history. I think you'll find he's the second best. I think you'll find he's the second best. Go with the Marines, need to work with pirates. Because it's not they didn't want tied back to them. as the good as you. The this the, the Marines are not the good noble people you think they are. So how long have you been a waiter? Not a waiter, I'm a cook. That's what it means, blue. Hmm. Not that it matters. If you can relate to that kind of idealism and self-belief. So that's your dream. Hmm. What he relates to people's team. dreams. Yeah. Oh. Like Luffy's either gonna recruit everyone he meets or help them. Please. The man is hungry, I feed him. 
That's a good moral compass. Yeah, well, I don't see You're not only a good cook, <laughs> you're a good guy. Exactly. Fifty ships and five thousand men. I was the only survivor. Save yourself. Forget you ever heard. So if he's gonna be like, well, piece. your problem was you had too many men. <laughs> I'll bet you didn't have any friends as a kid. I had friends. Swords don't count. <laughs> I had a friend. I had one friend. Oh dear, sweetheart. You're very idealistic, but what are you doing? Do they just is he just eating meat with nothing else? No vegetables, nothing. Is that part of his super strong curse thing? Like he drank the cursed fruit or whatever. That seems there are different rules for different pirates. And the ocean is blue. It's not black and white. Is Kobe going to end up joining the crew? But the Marines are all that are standing between order and anarchy. So control and freedom could also be said that that's what they're standing between. If they only hunted down evil, murdery pirates. Kobe. Be my new best friend. Does Zora know who he is? Which one of you is? Who wants to know? He knows who he is. You that tomorrow we're going to die. Wait, what? Zoro. I, Rorono Zoro, challenge you to a duel to the death. Zoro, this is not smart. You're going to be hung over tomorrow. And plus, jaws to the death are never smart. I've never heard of you. You'll see how serious I am. Oh dear. Well. I feel like it's early on in the show for him to like get his dream, but then I also don't think he's gonna die. This starving pirate washed up earlier, and you know what's no. he, he cooked for him right here. In your the whole kitchen. point of that was that the guy wouldn't know. Sure I'm gonna fire him now. Well, good kid. What's going on? I'll tell you what's going on. Your big he is, it's his dream. Luffy's gonna support it. What makes you think I want to play pirates with you? No. <laughs> I kill your kind for a living? No. Oh. Yes. He hogged in a duel and take his title. I intend to do just... It didn't have to be a duel to the death. No, it's his dream. Luffy is no longer on your side. I can't get in the way of someone's dream. Is she not going to go on her getaway plan because she's worried? You're going to take off. You're going to lose. Why do you even give a shit? You're my friend, you idiot. Mm hmm You said it yourself, you didn't have any friends. Childhood friends. She asked you about childhood friends. I do so need to know what Nami's secret snail was about. Ooh. What are you doing? Are you positive you're ready right now? Coming aboard? No. No, you're not. I do like your hair. Enough. <laughs> Finally, someone appreciates the hat. Let's begin. I have full faith in Zoro. I just feel like, like his dream is to be the greatest swordsman in the world. So for him to succeed in episode five it seems a bit quick. Because I also feel like Zoro's got a bit too much emotion in this fight as well, which doesn't help fighting. Whereas this guy is just, I'm the best, but I'm not worried about this. So like Zoro's emotional response, the promise he made, this being his dream, will give him like added adrenaline. But at the same time, Hardly. it also, you know, leaves him vulnerable. Strong. Now at this point I always feel like Zoro's gonna lose and he's gonna be like, you're just not worth killing or something. And hopefully that will prompt him to get better at fighting and not fall into a pit of depression. So maybe Zoro will win. There's too much emotion, I fear. Yep, I feel that there was too much emotion. Zoro. So I'll do you the I believe in you, I do. I just worry right now.
step in and stop this. No, 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 no. 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 That wasn't like a, a deadly wound, right? More like it'll scar and like always remind him of this, like, right? It's too soon for you to die. Grow strong and come find me. I'll be waiting. You will beat him one day. You'll be disappointed, right? No. Never fail me. <laughs> Again. Sorrow? He wasn't ready. Sorrow! Let's get him some medical attention, slash give him some medical attention. Sorrow! Okay. Easy. The urge I have to immediately walk to the beginning of the next episode to just confirm that Sorrow's It's very strong. But I just, he will be because I think he'd have like died, died if like the guy would like killed him, killed him if they're gonna kill him off to like shock value. I don't know. Okay, so 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 I am really confused about Nami right now. Like I don't know what's happening. It seemed in the first episode like she was in communication with the Marines, and like there have been moments where like they've said like what a great crew we are, and then she looks all shifty. So like there's something going on with Nami, but now I'm almost like was that a like double bluff? Was she actually communicating with somebody else? And then we just saw the Marines getting intel, and so it looked like she was communicating with them. I genuinely don't know, and they know what they're doing. I think, and like if I'm just really like this isn't a thing, and I've just read this completely wrong and like there's never been a hint that now he's working with anybody else let me know <laughs> but um they're just I, what is going on and what is she up to um because of a thing that is plain to see and i have always known was plain to see is that she cares about this crew in particular about luffy and zoro oh my brain fog usopp he's kind of new he's a little bit annoying so like i don't think she quite yet cares about him as much as the other two but i don't think she doesn't care about him and in the same with all of them um but you could see how much she cares about zoro and we also know she does care about luffy in the same way and zoro feels the same way and luffy feels the same way and i think luffy feels the same way about usopp as well because it's his crew but it is just what is she I, I need to know like i want a reveal whether they whether it's a reveal where they find out she's been talking to somebody else whether it's a reveal where we find out i just need to know at this point because i don't think she's evil i think even if she did you know end up running away with them intentionally giving information to the marines or whatever for some personal selfish goal i don't i think she is rethinking that but it's interesting to me it's the fact that in this episode she was going to run away she was going to take a ship go away and leave nobody would know where she'd gone which kind of makes me feel like she isn't working with the marines or if she was working with the marines maybe it was for like a payday rather than like they've got someone she cares about captive or something i don't know but then she was saying like i can't give up now and i'm this close or whatever like i don't i can't um if i'm this close what was she this close to that's just what's so interesting what did she need the map for because I don't think it's necessarily finding the One Piece. So I'm just very intrigued to find out more about her. We have found out about Zoro. Now there's still a lot about Zoro I would like to know. And in the way we met Usopp, we found out a lot about him. We're learning more and more about Lofi every day. Nemi, Nami is still the enigma. Sorry, I knew um, at the school that I worked at, there was a little girl called Nemi. So I keep wanting to call her Nemi. Nami is the enigma here. She is the one that we still do not know much about beyond the little bit she has told us. And I like her a lot. I think we've seen her heart and is a good one, but I just don't know what her, where her mind is at and what she's doing. Now, the fact that she didn't get on that ship and leave, the fact that she came back, that when it looked like Laura was going to die, she like held Usopp's hand for comfort. Like they all show good signs that she does care. Um, but I need to know more about her. Then we have Luffy. Now, the scene at the beginning with his grandfather in like a holiday shirt. Did the man like leave his grandkid there to grow up, look, being looked after by other people, go off and do some marine work and then come back and visit? Like, I'm very intrigued to find out more about that. And I do think they will tell us more about the nature of their relationship. I've been wondering since we first saw child Luffy where his parents were and what was up with that. Because it almost seems as though the grandfather just like left him here to grow up with some people looking out for him and he got infatuated with pirates while he was there because they were the people looking out for him and the grandfather clearly has some anger issues but also has these like weird 
good on you kid it, it's very weird and i'm very excited to learn more about it um and to see more of what shaped luffy into the person he is because there are times when i can't lie i just sit here going oh my god oh this sweet boy oh my god and then there are other times when he has such a steely resolve and such determination he's such a brilliant character i can't wait to learn more about and i love how much he cares for his crew i ha i feel like potentially chef boy whose names it wasn't sergio but it was something beginning with s is gonna join the crew but at the same time he also might not in the same way that like admittedly we did meet usopp but you know we helped out kaya and then left her behind. I mean, not that I think she would have wanted to join the crew, but you know, I feel like there will be episodes where they simply meet people, help people along their way and continue their lives. Um, it did feel like we don't currently have a chef. The dude showed that like with the two rowdy customers that he's a good fighter. It feels like kind of when we met Usopp, the kind of setup of bringing someone else into the crew. And obviously they are a very small crew. The bigger the crew gets, the better it will be. But I'm also like resistant to change. <laughs> I know it's only episode five, but I'm already trying to adjust to Usopp, who's a little annoying. The main thing I find annoying about him is his insistence that he's captain. I'm like, you're just not captain. Go find your own ship if you want to be captain, okay? But no, I feel like we have such a nice dynamic. And by nice dynamic, I mean three people, two of whom would not admit they cared about the other two. But um, Usopp is like changing things. But I don't know if I'm emotionally ready for another change. Um, but it feels as though he might be joining us. But he also could just be somebody that... You know we're helping him to stand up for what he wants and then we'll leave and he'll stay there i don't it could go either way at this point um i mean they could sail away right now for all we know then we have learning more about the marines and the governments of the world in that they have struck a deal with these great elite pirate warlords which definitely shows that this is a corrupt system like maybe there is some truth to the reality of the situation is there would have been so much more violence and so many more lives lost if they'd waged a war against those pirate warlords in the long run it wouldn't have been worth it for the cost it would have had but at the same time how can you stand up and say every pirate is evil and they all deserve to be arrested and killed or whatever like we have this zero tolerance for pirates apart from the really powerful rich ones they can do what they want and that is very much i feel like a reflection on how society works the elite get away with things normal people don't and the people in power enable that situation that system a little different obviously but kind of similar i do feel like it's hard because this huge hunt for luffy yeah is it he did steal from a marine base and then probably they killed some of those marines on their way out so i get why they are like a priority capture because of them doing that against the marines but at the same time like since then has he been pillaging and murdering there are probably other pirates you could put your attention on the fact that he's the grandson does explain that a lot but it was interesting to see kobe really find that the marines even more so than just him having realized that there are some marines who are bad people he's realizing that that goes all the way up and he's a he's a character that's going to be very interesting because he at this point i really think he's on the precipice of going in two very different directions one of those directions is truly becoming a mentee committing to the marines deciding that sometimes you have to commit necessary evils to get what you want to get the right for the greater good sometimes you have to do a little bit of bad and to have that kind of mentality or he's going to realize the marines is not for him um there is a chance he might try and of like play along to get along with the goal of one day having influence and power and trying to change things but i also feel like the alternative and the one i kind of hope he takes would be for him to realize the marines are not for him and that actually somebody like lofi who calls himself a pirate and is a pirate actually has the kind of ideals and morals that he and kobe himself has and looks at the world in the same way kobe does and if he were to become somebody powerful and influential he would actually make the world a better place and even if that is becoming king of the pirates like it would be a good thing so maybe he would join that crew literally he could become a nemesis or a friend i don't know but he's a very interesting character to watch and i think you can see the actor does a brilliant job you can see the vulnerability he has while also the strength he has but at this point he really could go in multiple ways and i have no idea um there are so many interesting places in the lost world i love exploring them luffy is a wonderful pirate captain a wonderful boss a wonderful leader of his crew but he's also a troubled young man and i think he hides that side of himself a lot he's also he's not stupid but he doesn't necessarily have the most common sense in a lot of situations <laughs> he's very naive i think his in a way he views people and the world a certain way and it's a way that i think is very noble and like if more people lived like that and viewed the world like that the world wouldn't be a better place 
but it's not the way other people live, view the world and he kind of Luffy approaches everybody as though they have the same worldview that he does and they don't and that keeps putting him in vulnerable positions now thus far he has got himself out of those positions but it does get them into a few pickles that they didn't need to be in now i've saved zoro to last um because the minute that guy were like he's that guy's the greatest swordsman in the world and i was thinking ah second best but i was thinking oh there's this yes, oh, no no it's not good and immediately challenging him to a duel to the death was very extreme and i i mean it wasn't entirely unexpected in the moment when they met but it was very extreme it didn't need to be to the death it could be to first blood it could be to till one of your taps out it could be you know there are lots of different types of jaws and i suppose you know if you don't kill the person then like he could come back and fight you in the future and it'll be a whole thing but it didn't need to be to the death um and i was not confident that zoro would win which isn't to say i do not think zoro is capable of it I think right now he is still relatively young i have no idea how old he is meant to be but he's not exactly old this guy has had a lot of experience he seems very powerful we literally just watched him take down a huge pirate fleet like i was not confident in zoro's ability to win which isn't to say i'm not confident in zoro's ability to win ever but right now i do not think he his head most importantly his head was not in the right place he was too emotional about it and while i commend I, I do not ever want him to shut off his emotions or anything he was approaching that fight with that grief for his lost friend the belief in their promise the need to do her proud to do luffy proud like he wasn't kind of his head wasn't in the game troy bolton would not be impressed with him because he needs to get his head in the game but um it, it was kind of it is there was obviously a little part of me that was like, yeah, it's episode five. I don't think he's going to become the greatest swordsman in the world in episode five. But it was more just looking at where his character was. He didn't seem ready yet. Um, but at the same time, he's better than pretty much everybody he fights. So in that sense, it's like, how is he ever going to improve if all the people he's fighting against are lesser swordsmen than him? He's going to need to find other swordsmen of a similar caliber to him even if he's better than them but find more maybe that are better than him and just keep training and keep improving i definitely think this will have ignited that fire in him because he's gonna find he may have a scar that will be a reminder of that day that he didn't achieve his dream and he failed in keeping his promise which i that's not how i view the situation but that's how he views the situation but I, he'll be he's gonna it's, it's gonna be fine and it's gonna motivate him to fight a lot and probably make him really angsty and i'm very concerned about him but um i'm just glad that the guy had some honor and didn't kill him um but i also thought it was interesting the way i don't remember the pirate's name because it's really hard to remember names when you have brain fog he when he the way he was sort of like oh um today is not the day you die find me again when you're better because in a way that there's a little bit of a like you're not worth it like I'm, it's not worth i was really hoping he was gonna go for that line like but in order for zoro to live like you're not worth me killing right now but i also feel like there was some respect in that because he didn't phrase it as you aren't worth the the, the the effort it would take me to kill you he phrased it as this isn't your time to die keep training get better and come find me he was almost like you have potential i think you could get there one day maybe come and see if you can prove me right uh, prove yourself right or i will kill you in that day like i think there was a little bit more respect than there could have been and i you know, cling on to that sorry i don't know um it was nice to see how much they all cared about him um and in that moment when he was like i failed and then like would you you'd be disappointed if i failed in my dream wouldn't you luffy and then luffy saying you could never disappoint me you could never fail me even it was so lovely and then like his promising that he'll never fail again it was just it was very emotional it was very lot um i have very attached to these characters very quickly um because i i do not think zoro failed i mean obviously technically he failed this attempt at getting what he wanted but he's still alive there's still breath in his body he's still fighting and even had he died he would have technically failed but it would have been he would have he died giving it he would have died giving it absolutely everything he could to achieve the dream there is nothing more more noble than that when you look at it from the perspective of achieving the dream then there's a side of me that's like the dream is not worth your life what are you doing and i really hope he maybe is able to learn that you know he and his friend were very young they lived in this world where all they were doing was training all that mattered was being good at being a swordsman and i think if she had had a chance to grow she would have realized there was more to life as well which isn't to say having a dream isn't a good thing and a to go and working and giving it everything you can to achieve your dream isn't a good thing but you know having friends and hanging out with them and having a laugh and sailing the sea there are there are lots of good things in life 
um so very stressful Zoro. and i even forgot like the battle at the beginning is such a blip in my my mind now but it did really show you that they are a very chaotic crew they need to work together they need to train in a way they need to train at being pirates together so that they can actually do better in these situations because had that been at any other marine who wanted to fire kill shots at them they may well have fired more fatal sink the ship type shots and they wouldn't have got away um I'm really loving this show. I cannot wait to see where it goes next. Reminder that you can find the unedited version of these reactions on my Patreon two weeks in advance, the edited version one week in advance. And thank you so much for watching.